taxpayers can feed invoice data in the returns offline utility either by typing the details directly into the tool or by entering them into the GST provided Excel or CSV templates and then importing those templates in the tool. This video will show you the steps of using this Excel template followed by importing line items in the offline utility and then uploading it to the GST portal. Assuming that you have already downloaded the returns offline utility from the GST portal and have extracted the templates as shown in another video, please go ahead and open the Excel template. This template contains 13 worksheets. One for help instructions that you can see right here. The next 11 sheets for entering line items and one additional sheet at the end for master data elements that are used by other sheets. Though this video will show you the steps of using this template, we encourage you to carefully read the information given as help instructions in the first worksheet and also go through the user manual that came along with the tool. The 11 worksheets for entering return details with line items cover all the sections. These are B2B, B2C large, B2C small, credit and debit notes, credit and debit notes for unregistered persons, export, advance tax, advance adjustments, nil rated, exempt and non-GST supplies, HSN summary and list of documents issued. The format and functionalities of these worksheets are similar to those in the GST portal. Before using this template, please ensure that the worksheets do not contain any line items. If you see any invoice related data or line items in any of these 11 sheets, you need to delete them. Otherwise, this data will get included with your actual line items when you upload. Also, make sure not to delete or rename any worksheet in this template, otherwise the template may not work properly. The 11 worksheets combined together should not have more than 19,000 line items at a time. In case you need to enter more than 19,000 lines in a given month, you can do multiple uploads until all the items get covered. For demonstration purposes, let's explore the worksheet of B2B category. My sheet already has some data in it. So you could see a real-life scenario of how the sheet should look like after entering the lines. Every sheet has a header section which contains the summary of entered data. This summary is auto-calculated by the template based on some formulae and these fields are non-editable. The section below the summary is where you enter the item details. In case of B2B supplies, enter the recipient's GSTIN or UIN, the invoice number, date of invoice and the value of invoice. Please note that you must enter the full value of invoices here even if there are multiple rates of tax applicable in any invoice. The rate of tax in each invoice is to be selected from the rate drop-down and the taxable value of corresponding items is to be specified in this column here. Likewise, select the place of supply whether or not the reverse charge is applicable and the invoice type from the respective drop-downs.
Next, if the supply was done through e-commerce, only then enter the GSTIN of the e-commerce portal. Finally, enter the CES amount if applicable. Similarly, you can enter the item details of other categories too. Please ensure that you do not leave stray entries or figures in the cells unintentionally. It is recommended that you store these Excel template files at a convenient location on your computer and name the files to indicate the corresponding tax period and GSTIN. For demonstration purposes, I have filled out my template with some B2B, B2C large and HSN lines with nothing else in the remaining sheets. Let's go ahead and import this template in the offline utility now. Assuming the utility is already installed on your computer, launch the utility by double-clicking its icon on your desktop. Click the New button. This will take you to a screen for capturing some preliminary information before moving to the Upload section. From the GST Statement or Returns drop-down list, select GSTR1. Next, enter your GSTIN. Select the financial year and the tax period for which you want to upload invoices. In the next column, Enter your previous financial year's aggregate turnover and then the aggregate turnover for the quarter ended June 2017. If you are a new taxpayer and these fields are not applicable to you, then please enter zero. Make sure that the amount you enter here matches with the figures declared in the GST portal if entered already. Once done, click Proceed. On the next screen, click the Import Files button. Click the Import Excel button. Select the saved Excel file that you wish to import and click Yes on the warning screen. The system will briefly display a success message before returning to the import screen. Clicking the View Summary button here will take you to the summary screen showing the totals of invoices that were imported. Click the section name to view the captured line item details. You can edit or delete these line items by selecting them from the listing. Editing is allowed only for correcting the typing error and not for the original details of the invoice such as invoice number, date, etc. Repeat the same steps to enter more invoices. The key factors that will be validated during data import are 1. If supplying through an e-commerce portal, the state code of supplier GSTIN and e-commerce portal GSTIN should be the same. 2. No two line items should be exactly the same to avoid duplication error. 3. Amount should only be up to two decimal places and negative values are not allowed. 4. Date format must be date, month, year. 5. The values such as GSTIN or UIN and invoice number should be entered for all line items even if multiple lines are entered for a single invoice. 6. The GSTIN of the receiver should be entered in the standard format. Names of the data sheets or worksheets should not be changed. Once the invoices are imported into the offline utility for this month, the next step is to upload this information to the GST portal through a JSON file which is created from the offline utility. Click the Generate File button. 
to generate the JSON file and save it on your computer. This file carries a default name with a combination of GSTIN of the taxpayer, return form number and the month for which it is generated. Please feel free to rename the file if required and ensure that the file size doesn't exceed 5 MB. Around 19,000 line items make 5 MB file. If the file size exceeds 5 MB, then you'll need to upload lesser number of invoices at a time and repeat the upload cycle to cover all invoices. Once done, log in to the GST portal and find your way to the returns dashboard. Select the financial year and return filing period as you did in the offline utility and click search. The pending returns of the selected tax period will get displayed. From the outward supplies made by the taxpayer GSTR1 tile, select the prepare offline option. Then select the JSON file that you created and click open. If the file is uploaded successfully, the system will display a message stating that your uploaded invoices are being processed along with a reference ID. Depending on the number of line items uploaded, there will be a gap of few minutes from the time you upload the invoice data on the portal before it appears under the relevant section on the returns dashboard. This happens as the GST system performs certain validations such as ensuring correctness and validity of the GSTINs of receivers and e-commerce suppliers, finding duplicate entries of invoice numbers for all returns filed by you in past months of the financial year for which you are filing the return, checking for invoices which are dated prior to the date of registration of the taxpayer or after the GSTIN becomes inactive if applicable, verifying the invoice dates to ensure that they were not issued after filing of September GSTR 3 return or the annual return of the previous year, whichever is earlier. Checking the validity of port codes in case of exports. Matching of credit and debit notes against uploaded invoice details. Identifying the validity of HSN codes if declared. The status of uploaded details gets updated once the processing and validation completes. If all the entries were correct, you should be able to see the invoice details on applicable sections of GSTR1 dashboard. If the system detects errors in your data or if you face any challenges with resolving the errors, please refer to the Help Instructions sheet in the Excel template as well as the troubleshooting steps given in user manual that came along with the offline utility. Thank you.